Are you sick of feeling deflated? Weak? Physically? Mentally? Feel like your life is going nowhere. You know shit is fucked. But you can't seem to push the needle. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not a knowledge problem. You know what you have to do. It's an execution problem. Why the fuck aren't you doing it? Huh? Well, what's good? It's Terrell. Just Terrell. Sorry for the little hiatus, y'all. I made a Patreon exclusive last week, so I wasn't slacking. I promise. But we back. By the time this video is uploaded, I'd have probably had my third Muay Thai fight by now. So stay tuned for the antics. Ayo, the Discord be fucking popping. We just did a seven day running challenge to help prepare me for my fight. And you man went fucking in. Big love to everybody who took part. And jump in the Discord, take part in the next challenge. Almost 1,700 members now. Speaking of the Discord, we're gonna open up a new channel today. Book of the month. Oh yeah. You see, this one I'm super excited to bring to you man. The applied knowledge that I get from books is like a software upgrade for your brain. And most man them are running around with Windows 95. As a result, here training in Thailand, I see many people come and go and fall victim to the myriad of distractions and eventually they have to go back with minimal gains and maximum defeat. But not me, I'm just improving bro. But how? The fuck? I'm not special. Remember, I'm just Terrell. The answer is simple and I'm gonna show you I just 12 weeks here can change everything. Hey yo, welcome to Thailand, the land of freedom. Fights, bikes, viewpoints, parties, a lot of stuff to keep you busy, but a fuck ton to throw you off track. See, people come here to level up, to change their perspective on life but they come bringing the same shitty habits they had back home and then wonder why they have the same problems here that they had when they were back where they came from. Training for bare long, no improvement. You wanna fight, but you can't seem to pull the trigger. Oh bro, bro, I'm just not ready yet. I mean, bro, I'll train today, but yo, it's full moon party tonight. You know I can't miss that, dog. I've been here six months now and I've seen a lot of people come with the best of intentions but not improve a lick and go home disappointed. I've also seen others, myself included, who have come through and improved leaps and bounds. Why? See, most people misdiagnose hard. They think it's a knowledge problem. I just need to find that one secret tip. I'm missing that one piece of knowledge that will solve everything. Nigga, please. It's not a knowledge problem. You already know what to do. It's an execution problem. Why aren't you doing it? Hey, yo, Terrell, what you want, dog? I'm out here doing it and it's not fucking working. Are you sure about that? You see, you think that you're working, but nine times out of ten, you ain't. Not as much as you think you are anyway. How can I say such blasphemy with my chest? Well, as the big Donny Peter Drucker said in the book, managing oneself, what gets measured gets managed. All right, for example, most of the warriors in the Discord community have some flexibility goals. Yo, jump in by the way, link down below. Flexibility is absolutely crucial if you want to be a high level fighter. All right, cool, so let me ask you this. In the last month, how many days were you supposed to stretch? Like 10, 15, 20, all of them? All right, so cool. How many days out of those did you actually stretch? Show me, do you have the data logged? Did you track each day that you stretched? My next question is, did you achieve any of the training goals that you set last month? If the answer is no, why? What was the exact reason? Was the plan shit? Did you work on the wrong things? Did you work too much, too little? What small tweaks do you have to make in order for you to be successful? Most likely, bruh, you can't answer those questions simply because you didn't measure your progress. It's all good setting goals, but you actually want to achieve them, right? Remember, what gets measured gets managed. So let's measure. Oh shit. <laughs> Couple there just butt ass naked, fam. Lie, man. I ain't trying to catch a case out of here. Right, so you just pulled up to Thailand. Sun on your skin sand in your toes, you're ready to tiger knee someone into the fucking never realm. Now what? Well, the first thing to do is set some goals. You're here on a tourist visa, 90 days, so that's 12 weeks. 
well, I want to fight and win. So that's one. I want to double my flexibility. And I want to lose a couple kilos. Man's looking a bit pompoui out here. You hear me? <laughs> All right, say less. Let's get a pop. And you flopped already. There's no strategy, no contingency plan. You're going to will every day into submission. Nothing's going to throw you off and you're going to do absolutely everything that you say that you're going to do. And you know that's some bullshit. Life always tells you to eat a fat one whenever you get too confident. Look, you can't predict the future, no. But you can be and stay prepared. How do you do that, you ask? Proper preparation, dog. That's in a word, my G. Big Abe Lincoln said, if we gave him six hours to chop down a tree, he'd spend the first four sharpening the axe. Time to drop an important truth on you dons. You have to be fully conscious of the fact that execution happens daily and weekly, not monthly and yearly. So the issues that are going to come up, it's inevitable G, I can promise you that. If they throw you off just one or two days, they can negatively affect your chances of achieving your goals. So what the fuck do you do? We've got our time limit, 12 weeks. We've got our three goals. And we also know that the things we do each day will determine whether we achieve them. So plan ahead of time what you finna do each day to achieve your goal. For example, I wanna win a fight over here. So I need to do each of these things every day. Train at least once a day, six times per week. You can rest, you know, you are fucking human. Run 7K six times a week and meditate daily so my mind is prepared and ready for my fight. All right, cool. For flexibility, stretch every day. It's as simple as that. Check out my flexibility video for how I break that down. And finally, losing some kilos. Whatever, man, just human. Man. To lose the extra calories, I'm only gonna drink coconut water and water. Okay, now we have the task that we need to do each day. Define what you have to do today so that your long-term goals are achieved tomorrow. But wait, before you go ham, yeah, you're missing an important and crucial element to achieving your goal. So big game, right? Notice that these tasks are daily and you want to keep the measuring of these tasks as simple as possible so it doesn't actually distract you from completing them. So what you can do is measure each day that you complete a task. You know what you're supposed to do and you're measuring what you actually do with these two simple pieces of data. You can calculate the percentage chance that you will actually achieve your goal. Divide what you did by what you're supposed to. Multiply it by 10 and then voila. Wait, hold up. You multiply by a fucking 100, not 10. Duh, the doy, the fuck. Hey yo, strive for excellence, not perfection. If you successfully complete 85%, the task where you're supposed to complete each week for the 12 weeks you're more than likely going to achieve your objectives and if you don't then it wasn't an execution problem was it your plan was just whack trust me dog man's been living this for years now and it fucking works see you stay consistent because of this one thing called productive tension productive tension is that uncomfortable feeling that you get when you're not doing the things that you know that you need to be doing. But listen, listen, you're not going to be perfect. There are going to be times when you don't execute and you just score poorly. Look, look at how trash some of these scores are. But instead of responding in a traditional way, bailing out, giving up, us high achievers, yeah, we use that tension as a catalyst to get back on the fucking horse. Hey, yo, listen, listen, I'm going to give you, man, a secret tip. I know how much man loves secrets. Never miss more than two days in a row. After that, start to build a habit of not doing what you say that you're going to. Remember what I said in the flexibility video. You are what you repeatedly do. Just keep showing up. You know what you have to do. Why the fuck aren't you doing it? In 2019, I bought the book, The 12 Week Year, and it spoke about scaling down your annual goal completion time frame to just 12 weeks. I was sick of not achieving my annual goals. So this was a fresh take. Each week is a month, and it's extremely easy to see when you're falling off track. I'm not perfect, not even close. It took me many, many years 
to score above 85% consistently. Many retries, many lessons learned, but I stayed on the horse. And four years later, when I landed here in Thailand to train Muay Thai, I used these exact principles to avoid any distractions and do what I was supposed to do every single day. A lot has happened in the last six months. Started this channel, Pompud Pasa Thai. About elementary level, but I'm learning to read too, so that's pretty good. Fought three professional Muay Thai fights and started a Discord community with almost 1,700 members now. And much, much more stuff. The thing is, I ain't special, but my planning kept me on track and honed in why I came here in the first place. So, some actionable steps for you, man. We're gonna be opening the book club in the Discord community. The first book that we review and we go over is this one, 12 Week Year. We're gonna share our practical experiences of using the book's principles in real life. Get you off that Windows 95 experience and put you on that Windows XP action, you get me? <laughs> Maybe iOS 16 or some shit. In addition, we do seven day accountability challenges. As I said before, the last one we did was running and you man smashed it. So come through, sign up for the next one and let's get them gains. For you warriors who are looking to take your gains to the next level, in my Patreon, we also have an accountability group where we take on more challenging 30 day challenges. It's more intense than the seven day, obviously, but it helps you see tangible results. And I'm gonna be there every step of the way to ensure that you're on track to achieving your goals. And I'll even make a 12 week plan and tracking sheet with you so that you know down to the percentage the chance that you're going to achieve your goals. And I can cuss you out when you start slacking and I can shout you out when you start smashing it. Yo, so I post more Muay Thai, movement and warrior content here. So make sure you subscribe and not miss another upload. In a bit, yo. Peace. Should I? Yeah. No, 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 no